I hope you guys are having a great day because it doesn't seem like specific GTA 5 online players can say the same. So on March 13, 2024, GTA 5 Online experienced a seismic event that sent shockwaves through the gaming community, the Rockstar Band Wave. So right now, at this very moment, as I speak, Rockstar and Take 2 Interactive are actively implementing a band wave. Thousands of players found themselves suddenly banned from the game across all platforms, from the PS5 and PS4 to Xbox O-Gen and New Gen. Speculation ran rapid as players tried to make sense of the situation. Some believed there was a crackdown on cheaters and modders, while others thought it was a glitch in Rockstar's anti-cheat system. Only just now, players are discovering upon checking their email a concerning message from Rockstar Games stating, This is a message from Rockstar Games. And it goes on to inform them that their account has been utilized in violation of the company's terms of service and or end user license agreement. EULA. All GTA 5 online suspensions and banning decisions are final and may not be appealed. While the exact cause of the ban wave remains unclear, it seems that Rockstar is going after modded duplicated accounts. These duplicated accounts usually come with a massive amount of money and your RP ranked to the max, along with a bunch of modded vehicles as well as a bunch of modded outfits. In Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, players often resort to modding their accounts to gain unfair advantages such as unlimited money, high level unlocks, and rare game items. Rockstar Games, the developer of GTA, has a strict policy against cheating and modding. And every so often, they conduct ban waves to crack down on players who engage in these activities. These ban waves typically target accounts that have been identified as using mods, cheats, exploits to gain an unfair advantage in the game. When Rockstar to detect such activity, they issue bans ranging from temporary suspensions to permanent bans, depending on the severity of the offense and the player's history of violations. The ban waves usually preceded by updates to the game's anti-cheat systems and detection algorithms, which are designed to identify and flag suspicious accounts and activity. Once the ban wave is initiated, affected players receive notifications informing them of a ban and the reason for it. Modded accounts are particularly vulnerable to bans because they often involve tampering with the game files or using third-party software to manipulate the in-game mechanics. These modifications violate Rockstar's terms and service and can result in severe penalties for the account owner. While some players may attempt to appeal their bans, Rockstar ban decisions are typically final and non-negotiable. Players who wish to continue Grand Theft Auto 5 Online must subside by the game's rules and refrain from using mods or cheats to avoid risking their accounts. This ban wave has gotten so bad it seems like Henry Boost from Criminal Mods is addressing the temporary shutdown of their services due to reported bans across the board. They're taking action to investigate any issues and ensure user safety before reopening. They're also asking users who have been banned and only ordered from Doug Boost and haven't used any other vendors or glitches to direct the message to report the ban. Additionally, Users who have been banned after using criminal mods are advertised to report it through the proper channels. With multiple reports from GTA 5 players across social media receiving an email from Rockstar Games claiming that their accounts have been permanently banned, it seems like no one's safe. Now, for those who don't know, Rockstar hates money glitches and anything that has to do with an inference of sales of their shark cards. Now with modded accounts having all that money, there is no proof of you actually earning it in the game we can run into some serious issues. As you do know, we have a stat option on where everything is tracked, including your global RP, your overall income, your overall expenses. Now this is a big one, earned from selling vehicles. So that's right guys, all those vehicles that you sold, those duplicated vehicles are being tracked and will be tracked. So if you're getting free money in the game, it won't add up and it is definitely detectable. And it is a huge red flag. Now I'm not saying the reason why people are getting banned is because of selling vehicles, no. 
Not at all. That is something minor and that's been in the game for the last 10 years. Rockstar has already addressed the situation of selling duplicated vehicles and put a system in on where you're only able to sell one car per day. So if you guys been living underneath the rock for the last month and haven't played Grand Theft Auto 5 in a while on, and if you guys would like to find out more information on why we can sell only one car per day, please check out the channel. I got the full video. So now, March 14, 2024, Rockstar has banned pretty much every Xbox account on that day. Now today, March 15, 2024, Rockstar has pretty much banned every PlayStation 5 modded account and every Xbox account. Okay, so listen up guys, if you have a modded account still that is not banned, hurry up and find some way to get your cards transferred on a non-modded account. You can still do the working, give cards to friends facility glitch, or you can go ahead and have your friends buy your cars down there in LS car meet. Whatever you guys gotta do, try to get those modded vehicles off those modded accounts. You guys are gonna lose them all. Now on March 15, 2024, I woke up this afternoon, went to go ahead and check my account on PlayStation 5, and it seems like that all my accounts have been banned on PlayStation 5 as well. Now it seems that Rockstar attacked only my PlayStation 5 modded accounts, but all my PlayStation 4 OG accounts are still there. My original OG account on the PlayStation 5 is still there as well. So, what does this mean for the LS car meets? Well, I'm still going to be doing the LS car meets on the PlayStation 4, and on the PlayStation 5, I have a few modded vehicles as well. Now, I know a lot of you guys came to my car meets only because you guys had modded accounts. Well, don't let that stop you. I'm still here. Let the show go on. I'll still be around, guys. So, March 14, 2024 is a sad day for us, and it will never be forgotten. It would always go down in the history books of the most shocking things in GTA 5 Online. So if you guys had been banned, please let me know in the comment section of this video and let me know what console that you guys are on. And if you guys went on to like today's video, please do me a big favor, smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely turn on all notifications. It's your boy, Soflasojo1, and I'm out of here guys, peace out.